Hey guys, today I am back with another install. Today I will be installing some Green Lane off-road ABS sensor guards. So I'll give you a look at them here. They are just some nice aluminum little pieces. Super easy to install, literally four bolts to pop off and then put these four bolts on. But if you don't know where they are on your vehicle, they are just right inside the wheel. Um, very inconvenient spot for off-roading as they can easily be damaged and they are not the cheapest thing to replace. So yeah, definitely a good idea to get some of these. I will post a link in the description down below to their website and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so to start off with the install, you'll want to grab a 10 millimeter wrench and remove the single bolt. Once you have that removed, you can go ahead and grab the cover and use the supplied bolt to put it all back together. And also there are notches in the covers for the wire so it doesn't get pinched. And then also you will wanna grab an Allen key to tighten that on. And there you have it. All right, and then once you've done both the fronts, which is the same process, obviously both sides, you'll wanna head to the rear and then get started on those. So on the back side, you are going to want to start off with taking off that one single bolt just right up here. This is definitely a tight spot if you do not take off the rear wheels, but it is doable. As you can see here, the stud is still in. If that happens to you, Green Lane has supplied a secondary nut for you to put on, and then you can put the original nut on behind it. And then you take your 10 millimeter and you unscrew from the inside nut, and then you will be able to take the stud out. All right, so now let's install the rear side. So there you go, got the rear one on there now, one more side to go. Alright, there we go. All right, so that is it for this video. Very simple install, as you can see. Um, just remove a bolt, put a new one in, and you're good to go. Obviously, the tricky part will be on the rear end. If the stud does stay in, it can be a tight spot if you don't take off your rear wheels, and the stud will come out, but it may be a little bit tricky as it's hard to move the wrench back and forth in that little area. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and we'll catch you next time.